Now and then we get musicians asking us, Hey Morningstar, can you add a song or set list feature to your MIDI controllers? Here's the thing, we actually have that. It's just not called that. Let's show you how to create, navigate, and rearrange set lists right now. Hi, what's up you guys? Today I'm really excited to be showing you a feature on our MIDI controllers that will undoubtedly be extremely useful and maybe even eye-opening to some of you. In this video, you will learn how to create set lists on your MIDI controller, how to navigate through them and rearrange them quickly whenever you need. Take note that what's being done here today can be done on all Morningstar MIDI controllers, but we are using the MC8 in this demonstration just because it has a larger screen and more information can be displayed. Today we're going to set up a system where you have your homepage, set list, and song list. This allows you to quickly navigate and activate whichever presets you need. Starting off, we have an empty bank with nothing programmed. Let's make this our homepage. So very quickly, let's program switch A and name it set1. Yes, really creative I know. You can name it whatever you want, but for simplicity's sake, let's go with numbers today. So what we want to do is have switch A take us to set list 1 when we press it. To do that, all we have to do is program this switch to execute a bank jump. So let's go ahead and select the bank jump function from our drop-down list. For this example, I want set list 1 to be in bank 11. So let's enter bank 11 here. And now we have our home page here that is called set list. And when I press switch A, you will see that the MCA jumps to bank 11 right over there. Perfect, but now how do we get back to our homepage? I'm pretty sure you've guessed it. We just need to program a switch to take us back to bank 1. To do this, let's use switch A to jump back to bank 11 when we perform a double tap on it. So let's select double tap as our action, choose bank jump for our message, and enter bank number 1. Now when I press switch A, you'll see that nothing happens. But when I double tap it, we jump right back to bank 1, which is our homepage. Fantastic. Now we can quickly jump back and forth between banks 1 and 11 without having to scroll through all the other banks. Let's jump back to bank 11. Okay, so this is bank 11 which is nice and empty now. So bank 11 is where we want to create set list 1. As you know, each bank on the MC8 has 2 pages of 8 presets each, giving us a total of 16 presets. So in this case, we can have 16 songs per set list just by toggling the page using switches B plus C. Now let's call our first song preset on switch A song 1 and program it to send whatever MIDI messages we need and hit save preset. Let's also go ahead and fill up the rest of the set list with songs. So now by using switches B plus C to toggle between pages 1 and 2, I have direct access to all 16 song presets. Now let's do a quick recap. Here we are back on our homepage where we have set 1. So when we press switch A, we jump to set 1, which shows us our full list of 16 different songs. And once we finish playing the set, we can just head back to our homepage by double tapping switch A. So I've gone ahead and filled up our homepage with 8 different set lists that now correspond to banks 11 to 18. So when I press switch A, it jumps to set 1 which is bank 11, set 2 is bank 12, set 3 is bank 13, so on and so forth. Each set list has 16 songs, so that's a total of 128 songs and we've only used about one third of the available memory on the MC8. So what happens when you need more than one preset for a song? No problem. What we can do now is add a long press release action to your desired song switch that takes you to a bank specially programmed for that particular song. So let's say I need different tones for the intro, verse, pre-chorus, chorus and bridge for song 1. All I need to do is add a long press release action, program a bank jump to bank 21 for example, and have my presets for each part of that song in that bank. So here in our set list, I have added the letter L next to song 1, so that I know when I hold it down for 3 seconds and release it, it's going to bring us to the bank that has the presets programmed for that song. So now I hold this down, 1, 2, 3, release, and it brings me to the bank where I have the intro verse, pre-chorus, chorus, bridge presets programmed for the song. And when I double tap switch A, it takes me back to the song list. And then when I double tap switch A again, it takes me back to my home page. Now we have this set up, let's take a look at how we can reorder songs and set lists. All we need to do to move songs and lists around is use the swap preset and swap bank function available from firmware 3.6.1 onwards. For the sake of clarity in this example, set list 1 contains songs with numerical titles, while set list 2 contains songs with alphabetical titles. So if I want to swap song 1 from set 1 with song A from set 2, all I need to do is copy song 1, go to song A and press swap. 
Immediately, Song 1 and Song A have swapped places. You can do this with any two presets throughout the entire controller. And if I want to swap the contents of set list 1 with the contents of set list 2, I just need to copy the set list 1 bank, go to the set list 2 bank, and click swap. Now, when I press set 1, I'm accessing the songs that were previously in set 2. And when I press set 2, I'm accessing the songs that were previously in set 1. Alright, and that's it for today. I hope that today's video will help you use your Morningstar MIDI controllers in more creative and useful ways. If you like what you've seen here today, do remember to hit the like button and also consider subscribing. This is where you get all the latest tutorials, product and feature updates. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.